Here on Flow FM, we're catching up with Peter McEwen. He's from Excelsior College, but also on the Australian Christian Higher Education Alliance Board. He's the chair. How are you, Peter? Good, thank you. Good to have you with us. Now, I likened this uh, information that we're going to share today, a bit like if people follow the NRL or the AFL, um, only following the bottom half of the ladder, or certainly not those that are in the finals when it comes to quality rankings. Is it a fair description of your universities and how they've come out in the latest rankings? Yeah, the, the faith-based sector performed extremely well in the latest uh, government uh, survey, which is called QUILT, Q-I-L-T, which is, stands for Quality Indicators in Learning and Teaching. So of all of the universities and colleges across Australia, 12 of the top 14 uh, rankings went to faith-based uh, providers, which is an incredible uh, result across the board. Yeah, it is incredible, and it's, often people don't hear much about these universities. But you know, as a faith-based university, what is that that makes them different to, say, the University of Adelaide or Sydney or Melbourne? It's really about the duty of care and, and the, the value-based um, teaching and learning that we we all offer across the board. So, student uh, pastoral support is, is 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 paramount. When you come to a faith-based provider, you're not a student number; you're a, you're a person and that whole student journey is, is really paramount to, to their academic performance and their, and their results. And are faith-based universities, what, what sort of course offerings do they have? Are there certain niches where they operate or you've got a broad range of degrees students can um, engage in there? So we have a, a broad range of degrees and courses. We are currently, of the eight members of the chair, there's currently 199 courses from business to nursing to social work, counselling, teacher education, early childhood, um, there's a whole range of, of courses that we offer across many spectrums. And are those uh, opportunities to study? I know the university sector has had a, a huge headache in the restrictions related to COVID-19 in recent years. Are, are there remote learning or even opportunities in regional areas to participate in university study at the Achia universities? Yeah, we offer a whole range of online courses. Both We offer both online and on campus. So it doesn't matter where you are based in Australia you still get the benefit of, of uh, learning at a faith-based institution. Right. I, meant, I thought I picked up somewhere that you may even have some regional study hubs, some opportunities that people can connect uh, with the faith-based universities, even in a regional area. Yeah. So some of our teaching uh, areas uh, in operating regional areas, so uh, Alpha Cruces University College uh, work in that area, also Christian Heritage College in Brisbane um, uh, in that area as well. Um, the, the other important point is also the, the age of these faith-based uh, institutions. For example, we have Avondale University, which is over 120 years old, so one of the oldest uh, in higher education institutions across Australia. So uh, at Excelsior, we celebrate our 40th anniversary next year. So we've been around in Australia, across Australia for, for many, many years. Uh, and I guess that's the thing people now maybe are starting to realise is they do have a broad range of options, especially with remote learning, uh, to research their options. They're not locked into, say, like a state like South Australia where you had have, have Flinders Uni USA and Adelaide Uni. There's a whole range of options, including Tabor College, I think, is one of your members. Yeah, Tabor is based in Adelaide. And again, that's an institution with a long history uh, providing high-quality education in, in the Adelaide and South Australian market. Um, but coming back to the, that online, yeah, we, we're, we're all very active in the online space um, and we offer a range of courses. So anybody in regional South Australia or regional Queensland or wherever across Australia can access uh, these courses. And can they access them using uh, it's the help system? A lot of people still call it HEX, uh, but the help system in terms of not paying up front for the whole cost of your degree? Yeah, so, so there, are, there are courses that are available with fee help, um, so the student can, has the opportunity to either pay up front or, or take out a fee help loan. Um, and, and there's uh, information on the various uh, providers' websites of which courses qualify um, because they need to lead into a degree, a bachelor degree or a master's degree uh, to qualify. Uh, I see. And when uh, I know you're looking at this sort of uh, topic over the years, I know it's a fantastic market and employment sense. There's low unemployment at the moment. But have um, faith-based universities, how have they performed in terms of graduates getting jobs? Yeah, so graduate outcomes is one of the key uh, areas that we all focus on. We've got a very high percentage across the board in terms of graduates getting jobs. Um, so again, that's that's something that we're really proud of. And I guess that uh, becomes into focus. We might chat with the Alliance soon about this one, the uh, teaching shortage across the nation. Uh, I gather your teacher graduates have been very much appreciated across all sectors uh, when you consider how few, uh, short we've been on teachers. Yeah, across Australia, there's, there's certainly a shortage in, in teaching and also early childhood. Um, and all of our members have courses that, um, that can, can tap in and provide that, that gap to the market. 
Now, um, people could Google, I imagine, to find out more, but is there a good website, uh, a Chia's God or otherwise, to recommend people to if they want to find out about these 12 of the top 14 ranked universities in the nation uh, being these faith-based universities? Yeah, our website is a Chia, A-C-H-E-A dot org, and there's a course bro- brochure that's um, on that website which can, uh, people can download, and, and as I said, there's 199 different courses across Australia. The brochure talks about what, uh, how long the course is, if it's face-to-face, if it's online, and also provides a link to that provider. So we're making it easy as possible for uh, people to apply for, for our courses. Yep, there you go, achea.org, not .org.au, .org. You can find out more. Yep. Peter McEwen from um, the college, uh, was it Australian Christian Higher Education Alliance. Thank you very much for joining us today. Great. Thank you for your time.